So hey guys welcome back to Tech Buzz with Tiet in the video watch till the end to know if you are one of the shout out winners for the previous videos buff of the week so in this video we are going to talk about the detailed comparison of two of the best browsers on any platform Google Chrome versus Microsoft Edge without further ado let us move on to the video let me open Google Chrome and Microsoft Edge side by side so that you know the difference between both of them I have installed the same amount of extensions on both of them and I'm going to open the same amount of websites and check the RAM management. As you saw, I had just opened both of the browsers and as you can see the CPU usage, Google Chrome has used 200 MB whereas Microsoft Edge has just used half of Google Chrome's usage that is 100 MB. Now I'm opening YouTube and searching our Tech Buffs channel. So if you forgot to subscribe to our channel, do subscribe to it for all the latest videos. I'm opening the same website YouTube on Microsoft Edge 2 and searching for tech buffs as I did in Google Chrome and opening the channel. Now let us go to the same task manager and check the RAM usage. Watch the previous video for knowing some cool shortcuts on how to open task manager in other apps. So as you can see here Google Chrome has used 250 MB whereas Microsoft Edge has just used 160 MB whereas we have opened the same website So from this we can conclude that Google Chrome is a heavy app and uses lot of CPU usage whereas Microsoft Edge is really fast and cool. So moving on to the next topic. Privacy and security features are really important for any browser because there are a lot of websites we visit and they store a lot of cookies and trackers too. So let us check those features in Google Chrome and Microsoft Edge. So when I go to Google Chrome and check for the privacy and security features, they have some limited features such as safe browsing in which you have enhanced and standard protection whereas you go to Microsoft Edge They have really offered you a lot of other options. So now let us go to settings where you have to go to the privacy and security options and there you have a really cool option to select the amount of tracking prevention. There are three stages in this basic, balanced and strict. When you use the strict mode, it actually identifies your browser as an ad blocker and many of the websites work too. So Microsoft Edge has won this round because they have really cool privacy and security features. So if you want we will do a separate video on that too. But Google Chrome should really increase their privacy features because Microsoft Edge is a great competitor in this section. So if you do prefer Google Chrome and want some privacy features you can install some external extensions such as uBlock for these features. So now moving on to the next section. We all know that there is an option for opening the PDFs in both Google Chrome and Microsoft Edge. So for example now let me open a PDF on Google Chrome and as you can see here there is nothing in it you can just open and zoom in zoom out and just print the PDF if you want to but in Microsoft Edge there are really cool features in the PDF reader section too so i'm opening the same pdf in microsoft edge now and it has the same basic features such as zoom in and zoom out but it also has a feature to rotate them and this read aloud feature is really cool so if you have some text on this pdf and if you want to listen it as audio you just give one read aloud button and you can listen to it so the best feature which is not available in google chrome is that you can draw on the pdfs in microsoft edge whereas you can't do that in google chrome so this is a place where microsoft edge wins in this section So moving on to the next round platform availability. So if your device is using Mac OS, Windows, Android or iOS, you won't have the issue of downloading Google Chrome or Microsoft Edge, but the problem comes when you are using the Linux OS. Google Chrome is officially available for the Linux OS, but Microsoft Edge is not available. So this is because Microsoft Edge has received a new update just now and they are officially building the Linux update which is going to come soon. Moving on to the next section. We all use all the Microsoft apps in our PC which has to be installed externally. But there is also an option in Google Chrome where you can use the same as extensions itself. So for this you have to go to Chrome apps and search for Microsoft Office and go and also install it in your Chrome. After installing the extension, you have to open it and sign in with your Microsoft account for using it. Whereas none of these are required in the Microsoft Edge. Microsoft Edge has automatically installed all the Microsoft Office apps, so you have to just go click on the app section and just go and use whichever Microsoft app you want to use. For example, now I'm using Word and checking that it's working properly or not. So I'm using some features to prove that it works perfectly. 
not only Microsoft Word, you can also use all the other apps in your Microsoft Edge itself. So this is one of the other features which makes Microsoft Edge a better browser than Google Chrome. So please do check it out, I have given the link in the description if you want to download it. So the winner for the buff of last week's question, how many iPhones have launched till date including the S, S Plus and the rebranded phones answer is 24 iPhones and the winner for this shout out is none other than Devak Praveen whose Instagram ID is given in the description so please don't forget to follow him. So the buff of this week's question is what was Amazon previously called? Mention your answers in the comments and also don't forget to mention your Instagram ID. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, do share it with your friends, subscribe to Tech Buffs and keep supporting.